Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mendoza. I uh, want to show you a little bit on how to create curved staircases like your 90, 180, and 360 staircases. So basically, I would consider this one a 90. You go in and then you go to the left. Then this one here would be like a 180 because you go in and then it comes back to you and then so on a 360 i would consider this more like a you know 360 curved uh staircase that one right there see and then uh, you know i will also go into this kind of staircases this is what you would find on a level three certification this one right here you have staircase landing staircase landing and then on the other side you'd have a staircase landing staircase landing and then it would go up to the second floor right here so you have to know how to do that on your level three i'll show you how to do those also i already have a video on your spirals so you have this spiral here and uh, you can make it as long as you want so let's say you could turn this into 50 steps and it make it longer uh, i'll show you all how to do that you know this 90 degree right here that's just a standard this there's a 180 that's just standard uh you can get that off your uh uh tool tool cool uh thing there um also you know you'll you'll see this but i'll show you how you can make it curved because I, I i had a house just like this you see how it curves right here so this is basically what you're going to have in your palette but right in here i'll show you how to curve that in and you'll see that in a bunch of homes so let's get down to it uh the first the first one I'm going to do is this one right here is the 90. Okay. So you go in and you're going to go to the left. So let's say uh, if you want it, you could, oops, control Z, you know, flip it around. Uh, here, I, I have to hold it. Give me a second here. If I hit. One, there you go. Then you know, one one going one way and the other one's going the other way. All I did was came in here. You see on your <clears throat> flip horizontal, flip horizontal. That's all I did. But I use a command. So let me show you how to how to work on this one particular uh, kind of staircase. So I'm going to create a new one, new layer. So the first thing I do is I go to my stair you know uh staircases right here right i don't go here what i do is i hit the c for staircase and i hit space to give me you, you know that kind of staircase right so i like to give myself some guides to make it real easy for me so i'm just going to throw some guides here and here and the way i hit those guides was i hit my s key which gives you the step uh snap line okay so that's all I did was I just hit the S. Uh, so let me show you where you see you click here and then you get this thing or, uh, you know, you hit your S. And you get the same thing. And if you want to deselect it, you hit escape and it uh, goes back. OK, so. Let's do that 90 degree uh, angle staircase. The first thing I do is I, you know, snap twice you see how so I, I got that upper left hand corner diamond there and i just click and click then the next thing i do i grab this guy right here and i just click once now the next step i do is i click on the first wall hold my shift key select the next wall uh i go into my properties but the way i do it is i hit control enter 
I never select that. It's easier for me. Okay. So right here where it says parts walls, you want to type a Y and it will automatically type the rest of the YES for you. And all you do is hit enter. Okay. So the next step I would do is I would click here. I'd move this. Now, remember, this is an arch uh, wall. So if I click here, I'm going to change that into a four. I'm going to grab this guy here. I'm going to move him over, change that to a two. Okay. Okay. So, you know, your staircases are usually like four feet apart instead of three, one, right? I'm going to make this one four and a half because sometimes they are like four and a half. So I'm going to hit four comma six. That makes this area four feet, right? Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to hold my shift key because if you don't hold your shift key, you're not going to be able to control this little uh, diamond right here. So I'm going to hold my shift key. And now you see I can move this guy around. Look, if I let go of my shift key, you see I don't have control over it. So I'm going to hold my shift key, hold, plus, uh, and I'm going to, I'm just going to put him right there. And this one here, what I want to do is move him over about right there. Because usually this is about the, how big those staircases are. So let me go in here and just kind of get it closer to that. Uh, go in here and this I'm gonna go right there okay I'm gonna change this to four comma four comma six which is four and a half feet and we're almost there so I want to make sure this is still setting it to from here to here and here I want that to be four and I can see it's already four you you can move it a little bit further like uh like i click on that little um white square there right here i'm gonna hit four comma six which now here this this thing moved on us so i'm gonna click here and put four comma six now you got four feet between here and here you got four feet between here and here well four four six you got four six between here and here that's all there is to it so i'm going to delete this wall so you can so let me show you what this looks like i'm going to hit 3d see it has a wall there right if you click on that wall it's automatically going to um uh make it a baluster and it's going to put a you know it's going to delete the wall right let's say if you don't want the wall completely deleted you can go in here and you see right here where it says um um openings you see this right here wall type you want it to um click on missing missing above staircase okay stairs so hit 3d you see and of course, you know, if you wanted to change it, let's say you're in there and your measurements are a little bit different. You, me you measure from here to here. It's different than that. You know, you would hold your shift key and uh, you would click on that. And of course, you got to rechange this to uh, 4, 6, 4 feet, 6 inches. It's off a little bit. So we're going to kind of, there you go, right there, straighten it up a little bit. Hit 3D. Now, one thing, you see how the staircases are vertically this way? So if you look at your staircase, it's not angled around. So what you have to do is you click here, you know, control enter, which goes to your properties. You could have hit that little blue uh, square. You see right here where it says angle threads. If you type y for yes it automatically type yes and all you do is hit enter now you notice that these things are angled you have to click on this uh, staircase grab this little dime the red diamond well, it's really a square but it looks like a diamond and you click and you look you can move those stairs 
how you think, you know. So that's probably right. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Uh, probably right. Let me let me see what this looks like. Nope. Uh, so. Sometimes it takes a little bit of doing oh, right there. Okay, so look, right now the staircase starts here and it goes up this way, right? So let's hit three. See, the staircases are going up. I'm going to hit one for 1D. I think that's what they call it. Let me see. Uh, okay, so now I want the staircase to start from here going up. If I hit in for uh, orientation and it's for orientation you can grab it right here you hit in and you see that little red uh, arrow right now you see this one is going this way right when I click here now all of a sudden the staircases are going up so if you hit 3d you see you got your staircase going around and let's say that you made a mistake and you don't want it going to the left, you want it to go to the right. All you have to do is select it, and then uh, you hit your open bracket, and it'll flip it, okay? So, and the, the way that, let me, let me see if I can, uh, uh, oh, so, so it's called flip horizontal. See, I it's hard for me to use uh, this pull down menus because I know all my commands. So I, it's, it's rare that you see me use pull down. So this is how you flip it from one side to the other. And if you want to flip it vertically, which is your right bracket, see, it flips. Or you could click flip vertically. So that's how you do your 90. Now the next uh, video that I'll do... I'll show you how to uh, go ahead and delete this guy here. Uh, 3D, show all. The next guy I'll show you how to do. Remember, this is the one we worked on. Now I'm going to show you how to do a 180. That'll be on my next video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you subscribe to me, the I have over probably over a hundred videos on how to work simbility exactimate uh, there's some, some some things in there about Excel and uh, uh, I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff about Excel and Word thank you for watching my video I hope you liked it I'll see you on the next one and uh, we're gonna create this one next